Wazuma V8M The Wazuma V8M is a unique and powerful three-wheeled motorcycle. Lazareth, a French motorcycle maker known for high-end custom creations. 4.7-liter Italian V8 putting out 460 horsepower and 520 newton meters of torque. With re-wheeled, it offers more stability than a traditional motorcycle, but reviews suggest it retains a thrilling ride. You can take this on public roads, meeting Euro 4 standards. Futuristic design Lazarus is known for their W-shaped geometric design, and the Wazuma V8M embodies that style. Not self-balancing while it offers more stability than a motorcycle, it's not a self-balancing vehicle. If you're looking for a powerful, head-turning three-wheeled motor vehicle with exceptional performance, the Wazuma V8M might be your dream ride. The Leaperkim Veteran Patton is an electric unicycle, EUC, designed for off-road riding and extreme performance. Powerful 3000 watts motor, some sources say 7000 watts peak, for quick acceleration and climbing steep hills. Top speed reaches speeds exceeding 50 miles per hour, 80 kilometers per hour, in some configurations. Range up to 70 miles, 130 kilometers, on a single charge, depending on riding conditions. High quality 2220WH Samsung battery pack for extended range. Construction, aviation grade aluminum alloy frame for strength and durability. Weight 89 pounds, 39 kilograms, a heavyweight machine built to tackle tough terrain. Comfort and handling. Wheel size 16 inch tire with knobby tread for good grip on off road trails. Car Shane. The Car Shane refers to a unique electric vehicle concept called the Shane. It's a two wheeled electric car designed for everyday use. Unlike traditional cars with four wheels, the Shane has two large parallel wheels. Self-balancing Shane incorporates gyroscopes and electric motors to automatically adjust the wheels, keeping the vehicle upright even during acceleration, braking, or turns. The two-wheel design and independent wheel motors are claimed to offer good maneuverability, especially for parking in tight spaces. The Shane is still a concept car developed by inventor Shane Chen, known for creating the hoverboard. Segway Mini Pro The Segway Mini Pro is a self-balancing electric scooter that's known for being easy to learn and fun to ride. Self-balancing the Segway Mini Pro uses gyroscopes and electric motors to automatically adjust the wheels, keeping the vehicle upright even during acceleration, braking, or turns. This makes it ideal for beginners who might be intimidated by traditional motorcycles or scooters. Portable at around 28 pounds, it's relatively lightweight and can be folded for easy transport. Performance with a 22 kilometer, 13.7 mile range and a top speed of 18 kilometers per hour, 11 miles per hour, it's suitable for short trips around town or leisurely rides in parks. While regulations vary by location, it's important to check if the Segway Mini Pro is street legal in your area before riding it outside of private property. Mobile App Connectivity A smartphone app allows you to lock slash unlock the scooter, monitor battery life, adjust settings, and even control it remotely. Lazarus LMV the Lazarus, also known as La Moto Volante, the flying motorcycle, is a truly groundbreaking vehicle attempting to bridge the gap between motorcycle and aircraft. Provides power for road travel with a range of around 100 kilometers, 62 miles, on a single charge. The Lazarus LMV 496 is a glimpse into the future of transportation. It embodies innovation and pushes the boundaries of what's possible for personal vehicles. Jet turbines, four mini jet turbines, powered by kerosene, provide lift for hovering, offering around 10 minutes of flight time. With the flip of a switch, it transforms into a hover vehicle, capable of short periods of low altitude flight, around one meter off the ground. 
transformation mechanism the motorcycle utilizes a stand and tilts its wheels to position the jet engines downwards for takeoff The Honda XR Mobility isn't exactly a motorcycle, but it's a pretty cool concept that combines virtual reality, VR, with a self-balancing personal mobility device. Imagine riding a self-balancing scooter while wearing a VR headset, completely immersed in a virtual world that interacts with your physical movements. The Honda XR Mobility offers a glimpse into the future of entertainment and leisure activities. It combines the physical experience of riding a personal mobility device with the immersive world of VR, creating a unique and engaging way to have fun. Personal mobility device the core is the Honda Uni One, a hands-free, self-balancing device controlled by the rider's body weight. VR integration while riding the Uni One, you wear a VR headset that displays a virtual environment. Your movements on the Uni One, leaning, turning are reflected in the VR world, creating an immersive experience. Underwater Wheelchair Underwater wheelchairs aren't commercially available yet, but there have been some successful prototypes created. One such example is the brainchild of British multimedia artist Sue Austin. Her underwater wheelchair transformed a standard wheelchair into an underwater exploration vehicle. The wheelchair frame was modified to be neutrally buoyant, meaning it would neither sink nor float uncontrollably underwater. Battery-powered propellers were added to provide movement. Perspex aerofoils were incorporated for directional control. While not a widely available product, her creation demonstrated the feasibility of underwater wheelchairs and the potential they hold for opening up the underwater world to people with mobility limitations. The Northern Light is a fully electric, three-wheeled vehicle classified as a moped. Electric motor powered by a 1.5 kilowatts hub motor, offering good efficiency for urban commutes. Speed limited to 28 miles per hour, 45 kilometers per hour for road regulations, but some sources say parameters can be adjusted via a mobile app to reach higher speeds, not recommended due to legal restrictions. Range no official figures available, but similar electric mopeds typically offer a range between 30 to 50 miles, 48 to 80 kilometers, on a single charge. Weatherproof the vinyl wrapped body with crumple zones protects the rider from elements and offers some impact protection. Self-balancing, not fully, while it's not completely self-balancing like some concepts, the two front wheels provide increased stability compared to a traditional motorcycle. The One Wheel GTS series is a high performance version of the popular One Wheel electric self balancing board. It's designed for riders who want more power, speed, and capability off road. Compared to the standard One Wheel GT, the S series boasts a more powerful motor for faster acceleration and better hill climbing. The exact top speed isn't widely published but it's likely to be a few miles per hour higher than the standard GT's 20 miles per hour, 32 kilometers per hour. Enhanced off-road capability, the S-Series features a different tire profile with a deeper tread, making it better suited for tackling rough terrain and loose surfaces. Lowered ride height compared to the standard GT, the S-Series has a slightly lower ride height, which improves stability at higher speeds and during sharper turns. Smart LED headlights and taillights are intelligent and automatically adjust based on your riding conditions, brighter when needed. The concave foot pads offer a secure and comfortable grip for better control. The Kenner Velomobile is a finished built, two-seater human-powered vehicle with electric assist. It combines the efficiency of a bicycle with the comfort and protection of a small car. The primary mode of propulsion is pedaling, similar to a recumbent bicycle. However, it also features an electric motor for assistance, particularly during uphill climbs or low-speed cruising. Unlike a traditional bike, the Kenner has a fully enclosed cabin that protects riders from the elements, wind, rain, sun, and offers a more comfortable riding experience. 
The Kina features two bucket seats, allowing for tandem riding with a friend or family member. The Kinner's sleek, aerodynamic design helps minimize wind resistance and improve overall efficiency. It utilizes a composite chassis and road bike wheels, making it lighter than many other velomobiles, which translates to easier pedaling. 